what's going on, y'all? What's going on? Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you for choosing once again to click on the channel. This is Oya Oya. I am simply here to do my job. Get the messages to the collective. How are you guys? How is everybody? Oh. Go to war with the devil on a daily. Call me crazy because they didn't want to pay me. I'm cooking steak now. I don't like bacon. They be faking, but life's what we make it. Because you are... A super, super, super star. Cause you are a super, super, super star. Yeah, they mad. A lot of people have been stealing a lot of different shit. We already know. Like, it's to the point now, I don't care. As long as I got my breath and my body, energy. Courage in my heart and strength to my bones, bitch. I'm swinging till I'm out of here. Thank you, everybody that has been liking and sharing, subscribing, supporting the channel. Welcome all new subscribers. Please, guys, only take what resonates. I'm only here to give it to you so you can have it. We're all stars in our own show, but this may or may not be for you, okay? This uh, this voodoo, this voodoo priest or priestess who keeps coming up. Okay, somebody is going broke for using whoever this was to do some uh, some hoodoo, voodoo, hulu, whatever. Somebody could be watching a lot of TV. Continue to watch what you're watching. Watch what you watch, you guys. I'm telling you, you're seeing them, the, everything that they putting on TV. You know, it's up to you if you're going to cancel out a lot of things that the enemy wants to play out. I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, some people are catching some lessons here. So you got, uh, someone could be seeing some different signs in the sky. Mm, watch uh, this different, it's just coming back up about this swiping machine or whatever. Uh, it could be a square, square. What is that? When you um, pay using your uh, credit card. Um, something came up about Square exchanging some type of currency with the co-worker here. Yeah, so someone could actually be um, dealing with something at work again. Somebody could uh, be trying to get connected to you by a thought pattern or using some type of mind manipulation here. You got mind reading bot, okay? Somebody that likes to smile in your face. They smile in your face. All the time they want to take your place and backstab us. Backstab us. Somebody wants to smile in your face, okay? But this person's going to end up going broke. You're seeing a lot of people, all the demonic entries are being closed. All the lower energy and vibration is being banished. Uh, different plots and plans that were supposed to transpire. It's not going to work, you guys. These people are literally going broke if they are connected to this energy that has been doing all this different chaos that's been going on. Yeah, so you got a Virgo out here. Someone could have been paying a, a spiritualist or a reader, okay, to do readings on you constantly or constantly watching you here. Yeah, somebody was like, was programmed to do this. So somebody was like programmed almost to like constantly watch somebody here. Could have sent somebody in um, at a job. Yeah, so you got to, there's somebody that could be a co-worker. Whoever this is, is a white person. Somebody's under judgment. Yeah, you even got somebody's blowing up at work, okay? Continue to watch these people. I know a lot of us are moving to, you know, doing doing our life path and just getting connected to doing safer work. And I only say safe, meaning something that's only good for your spirit. We are not getting involved in things that are not good for us anymore. It's just all it is to it, you know, to consecrate has had has already happened um you being shown who it is that you need to you know be connected to or around it could be certain jobs that you are moving from that you don't want to do i know in my own um in situation it was basically you know if it's something that i'm doing and i know this certain corporation or whatever i'm working for is you know doing something in the background or they 
you know, that we've got to start looking at things from a big, bigger perspective. You don't want to be a part of something that is not good, that's going against uh, certain energy that is happening. Things are happening for you, not to you. Okay, so if you if you're moving away from a job, know that there will be another job or it'll be something that comes that you need to be doing. It's a lot of people. You, maybe you're not supposed to be working right now. Yeah, this spiritualist keeps popping up. Okay, so a sister or somebody could have paid a voodoo priest here to do something towards you using some type of witchcraft. They also could have been doing something with some mirror work here. Yeah, or um, in order to do an energy exchange, somebody was trying to make somebody appear as somebody else. This is almost somebody could have had. Uh, why does she keep popping up, girl? What is going on? Yeah, this person uh, uses necromancy or calls on different uh, spirits or whatever, whatever work that this person does. Okay, they they going broke for doing this. Yeah, somebody could be uh, working as a sales representative or working in sales somewhere. Yeah, you have something coming up around a store. So, like, if you work in, it's almost like a um, I'm picking up on a a heated argument between a, a co-worker and a boss here. So this could be somebody's karma. Somebody's going to see something happen between a co-worker and a boss. Yeah, this could have been simply because somebody was gossiping, okay? So you got your girl told me homeboy gossip. So somebody's, somebody's spouse was actually talking to their spouse's friend. So whether it's masculine or feminine, you take it how it resonates, you guys. Um, somebody was doing a lot of body shaming, shaming, um, talking real loose against somebody to somebody's own friend or homeboy here. But is this what we own? Somebody could have actually went to jail. Uh, somebody could have actually went to jail for something, and somebody went to a spiritualist to get somebody to get released. Okay, so released earlier than what they should have been. Yeah, this is a lot of like peering into the future, future work, future reading. Whoever this earth sign is, um, the actual uh, spiritualist could be an earth sign or they was working with somebody that's an earth sign. Yeah, somebody's like absent-minded, okay, because they could be in jail right now or somebody's worried about going to jail, so their thoughts are filled up with something else. Uh, this could literally be a lower energy or somebody, is like I said, somebody, this is almost like someone's being controlled to do something here, to constantly do readings on somebody or constantly look into something. Yeah. So you got a spiritualist is taking a U-turn, okay? It was probably working with a coworker or a sister here. They was trying to get somebody to fall or slip, slip up. Um, they could have even did something against somebody's pregnancy here. Yeah, somebody's going to jail. Somebody's worried about going to jail, though. Yeah, because they've been doing a lot of hacking. So hacking a lot of different phones, devices, Wi-Fi routers. Somebody's, like, going broke for doing a lot of hacking. So you got it. You hacking, you lacking. Somebody's lacking. They should have took a fucking U-turn. Yeah, it could have been using somebody that was a part of the LGBTQ community. Um, somebody that is Dominican. Yeah, so either you Dominican or something. Somebody's here. Somebody here could be Dominican. Somebody's been having uh, problems with a Wi-Fi connection. It's because somebody is hacking your devices here. Somebody's still trying to hack. So continue to speak it. You know, if somebody's hacking, they lacking. Somebody's stealing. It's not no thrill in that. That's all it is to it. These people are going broke. Somebody's going broke. Yeah, they could be doing something um, on the radio waves. So somebody could actually be a podcast or has a podcast. This show they doing, um, somebody could be taking somebody's actual work or what they do online and using it on somebody's show or podcast. Because you got radio waves, no connection. Yeah, somebody's stealing. Somebody's stealing. And somebody's actually going to find out about this theft because somebody was supposed to be sacrificed or taken out for this t-shirt ritual. 
Because somebody was supposed to be on somebody's t-shirt here, but that was fair. That failed. Okay, so somebody was giving mercy, and that's all it is to it. If you don't give glory just for having the breath in your body, I don't know what people are doing out here. I, I really don't. I really don't. You know, some people claim that they know God. And some, some, some people don't have that connection. Okay, what they've been doing is just stealing a lot of energy, stealing a lot of different content, stealing personalities, stealing everything. Yeah, and now they're wondering why a lot of them are dealing with chronic illnesses, disabilities, being plastic in place. Okay, so somebody was real fake. So you got Barbie girl, Barbie world. A lot of a lot of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to be, I don't know why I don't want to be. Okay, I want to be able to move and control my joints and everything the way that I'm supposed to. I'm not a Barbie. I'm not to be played with. I'm not placed inside of nobody's toy box. Can't nobody compartmentalize me. Nobody's going to do the bullshit that they've been doing. They've been doing a lot of rituals trying to get this energy harvest for these different plastic ass Barbies that they're placing around. Okay, so a lot of females could be caught up in this Barbie girl, Barbie world, um, not knowing that, you know, this is a part of some spell work that was placed over them to be in this this energy of you want to be plastic somebody wants to be real fake here yeah could have been a uh, part of somebody's humili humili um, humiliation ritual so i know y'all been seeing what's going on you know i don't really bring them up too much because i feel like i already know the bullshit within you know the industry or whatever people claim that they are but um Y'all been seeing a lot of things going on. A lot there's some people that's going through like humiliation rituals right now that are in the industry. Okay, so this could be why you're seeing a lot of shit popping off. People having stuff to say about things that didn't happen. You know, different things coming back up. You're seeing them. Uh, a lot of them are getting sick or so, claiming some type of disability because they don't know anything about love. Okay, yeah, working with. They've been doing a lot of spiritual work. Okay, so whether well, this is celebrities, um, this is somebody's actual uh, spiritualist that worked with a sister here, um, doing something with a co-worker. These people was connected together, okay? So you got who are you really? Somebody's face is starting to be, somebody's face is showing. So while their face is showing, you are continuing to grow. Keep growing and glowing, okay? Keep growing and glowing because a lot of these people don't really know what they didn't got themselves into. You also got something coming up about uh, militants or military. Somebody could be taking the bar exam. Yeah, so this is almost like the turnaround. So if you, whatever you're doing, whatever you call to do uh, for for your own, you know, your 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 part in everything. If you moving towards, you know, going back to school or if you doing whatever it is, teaching, reading, um, a doctor, an architect, an engineer, a game maker, an artist, um, whatever it is that you're doing that you're bringing, uh, you know, to fruition this time, know that God's already protected this level of, of blessing that you got, you getting ready to receive because somebody did a lot of spell work to you know, claim something, but they seeing that the spell work that they did is actually turning around to be a lot of humiliation, a lot of going broker. Yeah, they're making a lot of noises. So you got Hunter, you got Forrest, St. Francis. Yeah, something going on in the forest or different uh, things that was taking place in the woods and the forest here, that's coming to a rest. You also got friends. Somebody's trying to go on a run outside the country. Or they was going outside the country to do this spiritual work. In the middle of the street. Yeah, so imagine you, you minding your business and you see somebody that has, you know, so much has gone on in their life that they may be in the street, like, appearing, you know, like they have lost it. And I, I am so grateful for, for God and my, my connection because I remember experiencing my awakening and feeling like, you know, everything was what it was. All the information came in at one time, and then it started being clarified not only in my spirit, but, you know, what was in front of me. The veil was lifted. And I had literally was like, 
in the street in broad daylight and I'm like, oh my God, this cannot be, you know, I'm really being, you know, stopped constantly. I'm really going through all this, all this story really going on over me. It was just so much that was going on. And I know a lot of people feel like, you know, they may have been hunted or targeted, but just know, you know, this was a part of it. I don't know if you are familiar with Jesus or Yahshua, but I know when I had went through my own spiritual awakening, I was screaming Yahshua. I was not screaming Jesus. Okay. But do not let people give you the divide to where you feel like, you know what I'm saying? That something is not what it is. This is why it's important for you to get connected yourself to a, a higher vibration. So you will know what it is that you are connected to. What's in your blood, Ryan? Because a lot of people was in the middle of the shit and it's like they in the middle of the streets, but now we moving, we moving up. Okay. Somebody's moving on up here. You could even be switching streets. Somebody's moving. Somebody was trying to have somebody humiliated in the middle of the street. This is almost like for something to happen <clears throat> for so many people to see. And trust me, I get it. Yeah. You going to new heights here. So you got new heights. A lot of people like to say new levels, new devils, but I don't believe in them. You resist the devil, the devil should flee from thee. You'll be free from thee. You can watch me though. It don't matter. So what is destroyed, you no longer need. Okay, so you got uh, storms, you have oil out here. Sexual guide and teacher and the incarcerated. Yeah, so somebody was doing something. This is almost like getting someone to be released from jail soon. That's not going to work. Okay, so somebody went to somebody to do a lot of uh, spell work. Or the, do Went to a spiritualist to either have somebody released. <clears throat> and this is backfiring. Yeah, because you got to know if you, if somebody has actually did something to deserve being put, you know, in some type of spiritual jail or jail period, and you go against the will of God to do something and take it into your own hands and you use your your spiritual gifts to help whatever lower vibration energy this is, know that there will be karma for it, okay? So somebody feels real silly because they helped somebody do some spell work um, to involve themselves inside of somebody's jail time. Yeah, so you got energy target. A lot of people was getting targeted simply because your energy, who you are, okay? You can also be a foul baby here. We got somebody that's a foul baby. So maybe you into like pumpkins and pumpkin spice or something. Or... Yeah, you into all, everything fall here. But somebody was targeted simply because who they are. Um, you was targeted by your sexual energy. This could have actually reached in, in, into somebody else's um, <clears throat> success. So imagine, you know, perfect, perfect example. I was around, what was it, 15 or 16 when I first, uh, slept with somebody that ended up being inside of the industry. I didn't know this, but you know, I was, that's just how connected to certain people that I was. But anyway, this person ended up being, you know, taken out, um, whether it was for their music or not within the industry, they was taken out and a lot of people benefited off of this particular person. So imagine when you are, you know, connected to somebody and this person goes off with your energy and they go somewhere else and they may reach a new level, a new height. If it is in a karmic energy or if it's being used for a demonic practice or something else, then everybody's going to fall down with it. Okay. So somebody thought that they was going to a, a new height of, of, of success with someone else's energy, but they getting knocked back down with the, whoever was using this spell work or whoever paid for it. Yeah, there was somebody that was literally targeted. They could have been targeted while they was incarcerated. So imagine catching a small charge, okay? Stuff like this happens too. You catch a small charge, whether it's minor or major. A lot of us, we feel like every charge is major because we don't want, you know, we don't want to be inside of jail. Nobody, I don't even wish it on my, my worst enemies to be inside of some type of captivity where you are literally ridiculed and having to walk around with chains and fucking, you know, chains on your ankles and chains on your, your wrists, you know? To have that level of, of humiliation simply because you're not like someone else, it could do something to you. But it's also used to bring something else out the situation. And I tell you, you know, inside of there, I was targeted simply because of my spirituality or who I am, my aura, my energy, anything.
Okay, so somebody could have been simply getting targeted by somebody that has been inside of the uh, inside of the system some type of way. Yeah, causing burdens and problems here. Somebody was doing a lot of different stuff, um, different moon cycles here. So all of this is coming back. So imagine just doing a bunch of spell work and everything comes back at once. This is this is also what I call the breaking point when you reach your level of spiritual ascension and you go through, uh, you know, the the guilt or, uh, you know, understanding your trauma or trying to get connected to, you know, clearing stuff out. Everything comes at once. Everything. Your awakening literally comes at once. So you'll get certain information, pieces of information here and there. But once things start connecting and it makes sense, then it's what it is. But somebody was doing a lot of different stuff. And this is like doing things during your menstrual cycle. If you are a female and this person was connected by simply doing a lot of moon work during that time. And then you see in two, a lot of these... Uh, a lot of people are starting to see, you know what I'm saying? When you go to the hospitals or when you go certain places, you know, you don't have to tell these people your business. A lot of these people have been doing it for a long time, and it's how these burdens and problems have been going around. But God says enough. So pay homage to your ancestors. I've been saying this every time. Um, you can pay homage. Somebody needs to like tap in with, with their ancestors, show them a little love. I know how it is when you so caught up in going through your everyday life, you know, we talk to God all day, every day, but it's just what it is. Somebody needs to connect to their ancestors here. Yeah. So somebody was like literally doing everything on their own and this is like move out the way cause God got it. So you got, uh, yeah, similar suffering. Somebody wanted somebody to suffer all the time. Um, probably was smothering you in certain situations. Didn't want to let stuff breathe. This is this is like constant warfare to a say, you know what I'm saying? Something happens to you, you may get some support or none at all, and then something else will happen, and then somebody will pass away, or then something will happen on top of that. Like, this is what I was experiencing in 2019. Everything was coming all at once, like over and over and over again. It was to the point where I literally could not grieve certain loved ones because they was passing during my own particular warfare. And it's like a lot of people knew that I was losing those that I loved and they were still playing with this spell work over me. This is why, you know, there will be no mercy. We knocking them down, walk them down, knock them down, walk them back. I, I don't care. They're getting, they getting spiritually hit. They're getting spiritually hit, you guys. It's what it is. So somebody's being told to breathe and let things breathe. Do it with you. Sometimes it's best to simply just be still and be quiet when you're going through certain things because your first initial reaction uh, would be different from you, you and who you are now. Okay, so say that you've experienced so much. You know, back in the day, you, it wasn't nothing to pop off. Uh, or, or, you know what I'm saying, smack somebody silly or or say something that you know you shouldn't say or come out of character or whatever. Because people will try you just to simply see, you know, are you who you say you are? It doesn't matter. I don't know who told somebody how people are supposed to be when they are connected to the most how. When, you know what I'm saying? It, or chosen or whoever people are labeling everybody that really just loves God and really wants, you know, a better life for, for them and their environment. It, it's just what it is. Okay, sometimes you just got to let stuff go and breathe, and it's hard because stuff is constantly going on, but it's going to be all right. Yeah, so somebody could actually be on the corner now, or they constantly on the corner. Somebody's doing some work here. They may be having to work on the corner because you have a phone, a phone trigger, a phone trigger. Yeah, so this is also energy targeting when it comes to uh, when people do certain witchcraft in this spirit of jealousy, envy, seek, kill, steal, and destroy. You know, if you in that energy, it's in the lower vibration. You know, everybody want to try to blame the dude downstairs, but it's literally you operating in that energy and carrying on the works and the jobs that this motherfucker could do if he was released. 
You know, we, we got to start taking, you, it's what it is. Did you do something today? Did you do anything? So somebody could have actually did some spell work over an officer or over somebody to get somebody actually popped, okay? And this person could have, you know, been targeted simply by their energy. So you got, what's the next move? What's the next move? Hush, be quiet. Yeah, somebody wanted a lot of like behavior problems. This is manufacturing a lot of lies. Somebody going through lying about a lot of different stuff, and it was easier to do it with this this voodoo priest, this voodoo priestess, whoever this is to do the spell work. It's also something coming up about something planted in some phones or something in a phone. Um, it's it's also coming up about a phone trigger. So. Um, it's, this could simply be monitoring your your phone to your face constantly or the time that you're talking on the phone or something here because it's something about implanted behavior problems. So if something is going on and, and technology is being used or it's being weaponized against certain people, just know that this too can be a problem when you constantly have your phone on your face. So I don't know if somebody needs to hear that they maybe need to take a tech break here. And I heard it's me against the world. So something came up about Tupac. Something's coming up about Tupac. It's going to be something um, discovered pertaining to somebody's spiritual family here. So you may have had this journey and you may have been on it for a long time. And it may have been long. It may have been, you know, a lot of things may have happened. But... Somebody's being led to their spiritual family. You're actually going to have something given to you. This is almost like a gift of an artifact or a memorabilia or a piece that you can use. Yeah, there's a lot of work going on against people's mind. Okay, this celebrity is getting dropped. Whoever this celebrity is that's been doing this work in the background, okay, could have been even doing something to some animals. Um, somebody is like really obsessed with somebody else. And this is a female, like, obsessed with a female. And that's what I don't get, you guys, because I, I, I'm not going to lie. I usually don't bring shit up like this, but, you know, I get a little piece of Ratchet TV every now and then. And I was watching Baddies, and I was um watching how one of this, you know, the Lahishi or whoever, she was literally on the show with the girls, but it was like she was obsessed with them. This was like a female that is not a female that is completely obsessed with a real female because, you know, the facts are the facts. It's whatever it is. You can see now that a lot of people will get this body work or they'll do something to who they are and their outer appearance. But until you have did the work on the inside, you will forever be broken. You will forever be hurt, especially if you're running around trying to hurt somebody else. OK, nobody else can give you facts about yourself. This is what I don't understand. How the fuck are you going to give me a fact about who I am? Or who, and you don't even know who you are, what you're doing, where you're going, what you want out of life uh, what you willing to do for, you know, a lot of these people are setting themselves up. So you got a female that's completely obsessed with another female here that could have hired a voodoo priest. Um, yeah, trying to play a lot of mind games. This person could have recently been on some type of aircraft or on a um, a plane here. Yeah, because they having to go, they having to go far for the spell work. Let me get a couple more because there's a lot going on. So you got somebody could be plotting on revenge. And that's the thing. Why are you going to plot on some revenge to get back on some stuff that you did to me? Like, it's, it, it doesn't make sense. You got 117. Gullible to forgiven. Okay, so somebody's relying on somebody to be really, you know, real forgiving here. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, you got there was a white woman that was uh paid to do some type of work. Um. Uh, to get somebody's wound here. This could be like deep, deep roots. Okay, so somebody did some deep root work against somebody's fertility, their embryo, uh, their their wound. Yeah, it's all backfiring, you guys. It came out backfiring. You got 13 enemies. So you got the number 13. Enemies, cheat, gossip, lie, greed, ego, slander, lust. Yeah, they wanted your energy, but they didn't understand the enemy. Okay, so somebody's their own enemy here. Five, one, three. So pay attention to these numbers. Yeah, did a lot of work against somebody's womb. They did not want somebody to have a baby uh, by this particular person, whoever this person is. There's a masculine out here um, <clears throat> that was created within a dream. So imagine somebody um, 
you know, if if you're not, they say manifesting, but if you're praying for something and, and it's given to you, okay, this is like somebody created their dream life, um, you know, just being happy away from all the gossip, cheating or whatever, and whoever this is has been plotting and creating a lot of chaos within this dream here. So it's coming out. This is somebody's, this is somebody's karma. This could be somebody's karma. I ain't even going to say who this could be because I already know. Yeah, you got Monty out here. You got the woman in your life. So it could have been somebody's mother, sister, daughter, aunt, cousin, friend, a co-worker that actually exchanged money with this voodoo priest to do this wound work, uh, do some deep root work. So you got, they was going through your trash, um, inspired by Mercury. Or either blocking a Leo here. Somebody could be a Leo. Somebody was real loud, proud. Yeah, it's a change coming. So let's see. You got a hoax. Who who winked? Somebody tricked somebody into doing the spell work. Okay, somebody was like inside of some type of group or a religion, um, but their religion has changed. This person could actually be in witness protection. They could have seen something that happened near a river here. Or they can live near a river. Or somebody lives near some water, has like an ocean view or island view. Um, and there's somebody that's in witness protection. So who, who, what's going on? Yeah, you're being told to guard your heart and your emotions. Somebody could be trying to play on somebody's mind right now with, you know, just basically gossiping about somebody. So you got don't trust him or there. Somebody could be between 40 and 60. The children of him, faithful flowers, and specialty in solids. Okay, so whoever this person is, is has a specialty in doing some type of work with herbs. And like I said, this is deep root work. Solids to liquid. It could be somebody that's, um, that has a hold of different liquids, chemicals here. Your eyes, their eyes, the IRS. So you got the IRS out here. You got somebody's eyes watching. Continue to keep your head up on your journey. Yeah, because somebody's back with some bullshit. It's also some energy coming up about something at a mall. Okay, somebody wants somebody to either uh, take themselves out or this is what they was willing to do to you. They was willing to hurt somebody, okay? They even put some type of roots over somebody's spouse here. So you got shadow workers. Yeah, they in the shadows, but they're not working on themselves. They're working against others. This is why they're being called out and un under judgment. Stalking a lot of different people. Getting people caught up in these cases. Uh, you got somebody that could be dealing with a court case. You got case overload. They're doing different things within the courts to keep the case, uh, case workers overworked you know, with an overflow of cases that they're not working because they want people to be state property, but this is not going to work. You cannot, you cannot do this. A lot of people have been fucking up, man. Y'all have been fucking up. So you got always look within divine guidance. Something coming up about a bus ride home. Okay, somebody could be leaving somebody too. Um, because they seen that this person was playing with some type of spell work and when it backfired it was actually hitting the person that somebody was with and i i had to learn the hard way you guys like i've always kept i've always kept people close but i i did not discern the enemy i could not you know i never consecrated anybody i just felt like you know i wasn't living that life so i wasn't you know you just be under a lot of different things the warfare and i'll just I didn't see things for what they were. I didn't believe that people would curse you or pray over you to curse you or send magic to you or um, try to do things against your car, get you caught up in car accidents, uh, do make false statements against you, pay false witnesses, get you caught up in jail, um, keep you from, you know, ascending or always having you question yourself, causing a lot of problems in love affairs, do love affairs, um, Doing a lot of stalking paper, paying people to stalk you in the shadows. It's like a, ca a caseload of overflow of people that's been working in the shadows. So you got caseload overflow of people working in the shadows. It's just what it is. Yeah, it's a lot of distraction, distractions. So continue to, you know, stay stay in prayer, you guys. I, I, I pray. 
You know, it might, I do everything internally simply because how much has been taken from me, stolen from me, how much has been placed over me, how people use the courts to play with me and against me. Um, you know, and I heard it and I didn't even want to say her name, but, you know, the one that, that, that everybody's talking about, she said it, you know. You you basically going against uh, machines and corporations and bots and, and and people that are getting paid to just run rampant and do whatever in the dark, but it's not gonna work. It's all backfiring. So you got somebody is in love with you. You got she is in love with you. So whoever this is that could be obsessed with somebody is actually in love with a person, but they ain't saying nothing. Yeah, they purchased a lot of personality. Okay, pay for a lot of per, uh, uh, spell work. So somebody pay for a lot of spell work to like, you know, have 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 the way you speak or something. And it's weird, y'all, because the, don't think, yeah, have y'all been watching TV and saying some of this stuff? Like some of the stuff you go on there and then some of the females, everybody just like talks the same. You know, they talk the same. They walk the same. They're starting to look the same. Like, don't we want a little bit of individuality? Don't we have some creativity? And then I was thinking about that, too, because it's like the last 10 new songs that's been playing on the radio around me, you know, they all been somebody else's beat or they all been, you know, been recycled beats. And I'm like, you know, yeah, well, I see the shit for what it is. It's what it is. A lot of people, y'all, y'all purchase shit that didn't belong to y'all and y'all use spell word getting it and the shit's coming back. So you got dumb, dumb, dumbbell, mourn, forgive and release. OK, so somebody is losing someone and. This could be somebody you actually gonna have to forgive so this person can be released. You know, we, we you you lose certain people and then that energy is still attached to you and you don't want it festering within your spirit as some type of hatred or bitterness or resentment. You want to learn to, you know, let clear that out and let let people go about their business. And if this person's already gone, you can't be like, well, when they was here, they they fucked me over anyway. Trust me, I get it. You know, the last part, the last time I seen my, my actual father, this was, you know, a few years ago, it was like when I actually seen him, I had already forgiven what was already taking place in my life because I was moving somewhere else, you know, and not physically, mentally, I was moving somewhere else. And, you know, he couldn't talk because he had like several um, heart attacks and I didn't know nothing about it. Nobody had called me and told me anything. And when I went to see him, I was so upset. But I still wanted to cherish that time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, it, it, maybe this is it. But, you know, I guess me coming, he actually, you know, was able to get out the hospital or whatever. And I picked him up one day because I had just bought, I had just got a new car. So I went and got him. And I know the first thing he wanted was some dope. And I'm like, no, I'm not getting ready to get you no dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't care how much I may have hated you or how much we went through and how much I had to forgive you for. Because he was never there. But I was like, I'm not getting ready to buy you no dope. And it's going straight to your demise. And I, I'm, I kid you not, I took this man to Taco Bell. I mean, that ain't no better. We know now we don't eat that shit. It's Taco Hell, right? So I had to, I had purchased him, you know, some tacos and shit. And I dropped him back off on my grannies. I'm like, I'm not getting ready to deal with this. You know, the, the man is not even in his right mind. But, you know, he wants some money from me. I couldn't give him money. My spirit kept telling me, don't give him money, you know. And I had to go through my own cycles with, with different addictions and learning to forgive people and after, you know, what what I experienced. And I, I literally dropped them off and I was like, you know what, I, I wish them well, but it, it, it's going to be a time where you, we would never, you know, be able to try to be a, a daughter and, and father, you know. So when I had let them go, I had dropped them off or whatever. I had heard a day or two later, you know, one of my other siblings actually bought him some, which led to him having a heart attack. And I, I just, I was no good after that. I was like, you know, it's a lot going on in life. And I didn't have a chance to mourn them because right after that, you know, somebody else died. And then right after that, somebody else died. And right after that, somebody else died. And I'm like in the middle of reworking myself and healing and, you know, moving on and all this shit was going on. And I just, I had just really had to see things for what they were. You know, sometimes things happen for you to see things for what they really are. The pain that we experience is for it to be, you know, taken within and used for something else. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people, they they whether you know it or not, you may work better under pressure or under some type of, you know, pain or people like to use revenge for fuel. But hey, you know, but anyway, just learn to forgive. So you and this certain person will be released. 
But as far as the wicked, man, they're getting stomped on. So you got the eighth house. Somebody's in fear of their stability. Um, you know, somebody didn't stand up for somebody here. And now they, they worried about it because they was looking at you as competition instead of uh, providing some type of assistance. Okay, this could be an earth sign. But somebody's having their healing increase, increase here. You also have a, a home cleanse is needed. So maybe you need to cleanse not only your physical home, but your body, okay? Somebody could be going through a cleanse with their home and their body, and you have orchard here. Orchard improves your air, relieves stress, and increases healing. Yeah, so you got release. Yeah, somebody has a lot of stress built up, and they need to re relieve it or release it. Someone could have actually been using a child as a pawn here. Um, and this person is not, this person doesn't have a child. Now, this could mean that they don't have children or it could mean that, you know, everybody has moved out the home. So they don't have anyone that they can actually like smother. Um, this person was using children. Okay. This person could have uh, actually been a fire sign, but somebody was using children to work against somebody's mental. Yeah, working against somebody's uh, divine masculine, causing a lot of problems. Uh, Could have came between somebody and a potential love one here. So you got two fire signs out here. Two fire signs could have been working. Oh, my goodness. You got three. So you got fierce, want to destroy. You got two fire signs that's getting knocked by a segment here. Somebody that's very powerful. Okay, they could have been working with uh, masculine energy here. Somebody that was karmic or everybody. You know, everybody doing working with everybody. Southern smoke. They wanted smoke. This could have actually been in the southern states too. So you, if you don't realize by now, then you will start to see that a lot of the southern states are under judgment. Uh, this is simply due to what was going on with our ancestors. Okay, blood of the land. That's what I heard. Blood of the land. A lot of people are going to see where the, uh, the, our blood, the blood of our ancestors was felt at because you're going to see it's, it's going to be smoke. Okay, you also got something coming up about November. So you got something about a Scorpio, somebody, page, an opportunity. Yeah, somebody could actually be taking a lot of uh, different perks or Percocet or uh, different pills here. Somebody was using a lot of oils. So if they was using oils, herbs, putting uh, drops of stuff, doing a lot of different rituals and spell work. So you got rather beat those boots, walk on. So beat your boots, keep going. Okay, somebody getting stuck on the side of the road. Okay, this is almost like somebody trying to do something. Yeah, this is a narcissist. Somebody's getting stuck on the side of the road. This is somebody that could have been chained to someone through uh, a sexual energy here. So once again, if we don't clean ourselves, if I, if, if I sleep with, you know, Timothy 15 years ago and I haven't let Timothy go and Timothy's sleeping with everybody else and somebody's playing with spell work, know that all this shit starts to backfire when somebody calls that energy in. So maybe somebody needs to let somebody go as far as like um, releasing them out of your energy. Okay? Release somebody out of your energy. Yeah. You got open book. A baby. Trust is wounded. Okay, so somebody's baby mother or baby father could have been an actual sad chick to somebody. They were still going along the road with somebody that is like a narcissist, still on drugs here. Yeah, somebody's uh like, you got water signs, you got fire signs, you got burn woman, a lot of spell work against somebody's wound, using sexual energy, this hoodoo priest, guided journaling. Yeah, somebody had a whole alliance with a lot of different people. They was doing environment, environmental rituals, okay? So this is the whole fucking block. This is like the whole neighborhood that was in an alliance doing something against somebody. Yeah. They wanted it to be never-ending. So somebody felt like they was never going to get caught for what they were doing. Whoever this is. Yeah, could have felt like somebody was actually running away or a runaway slave. And this is the type of mentality that people have. If you are still enslaved to the illusion of poverty or having to actually do a blood sacrifice or if you're going against people or doing shit like this, yes, you are considered your, you consider yourself a slave. Like I said, Barbie girl, Barbie world. A lot of people they were on the outside, I'm telling you, but this brain... 
You got penny with a hole in it. Somebody's uh, worthless with a hole in they a hole in their head simply because they do not they do not believe in a higher power. They do not believe in God. Yeah, you got gunshots, heaven consciousness, naked flesh. So choose another path. Somebody is being given options to choose another path here. There's going to be some closure with on um, what happened um, between somebody and whatever this this flesh sin or this flesh uh, obsession is. Because this is almost like a lot of obsession, a lot of bewitching, trying to plant drugs, um, trying to have somebody kidnapped, and trying to send somebody in that tries to play the game, but they don't know the game well. That's the message. 